What community are you proud to belong to? I'm part of the Obama Foundation Africa Leaders community. We're all change makers in our own right, and the idea is for us all to connect and learn from each other. Well, this is dope. Oh. So how does this work? I have no idea. We're about to find out. Okay. Where do you feel most inspired? I feel most inspired in the work that I'm doing. So I, a little quick background, I actually was formerly incarcerated. I spent five years of my life in prison from the age 15 to 20. And ever since coming home, I transformed my life. And what I am, I'm an organizer, I'm a grassroots organizer, activist, and you know, the voice for those that are still behind those bars. I feel inspired seeing other people succeeding when they used to be at the lowest and the lowest in the systems. That's great, man. Yeah. yeah. How has your Community shaped you. Oh, okay. For me, the Hartford community has shaped me in the sense that it allowed me to see strong people. Strong people work, strong people thrive, despite all their circumstances, despite the struggles, despite the hardships. I'm a young black girl representing the city of Hartford, representing the University of Connecticut, but at the same time, I'm an immigrant. I wasn't born here, but I was still afforded that same opportunity everybody else around me was. It's that little neighborhood that made me who I am, and I wanted to escape from it because I didn't think this place is never gonna change, but we are changing it. We are the ones, we see something in it that other people don't. And I'm lucky to be here with you guys, so. What community are you proud to belong to? So I'm really proud to be a part of the drag scene, especially the Chicago drag scene. I feel like drag queens have always been like the mascots of the gay community, especially back when we were like, really fighting for rights and like protesting and like the beginning of Stonewall. I feel like drag queens have always been at the forefront of the revolution. I always feel like, yeah, we do that. <laughs> Actually, community is about commonality and that's the most important thing that brings people together. I'm part of the Obama Foundation Africa Leaders community. I was part of the inaugural class um, from 2018, and so we're all change makers in our own rights in different capacities across the continent. And kind of through the program, the idea is for us all to connect, to support each other in our leadership, and learn from each other. It's really a great community to be part of. Really cool. How are you creating positive change in your community? So the world is changing and my community is changing. Um, and we try to connect the past to the present to the future by bringing together arriving young people in big cities, have hundreds of connections but no roots in their communities and we connect them with older people in their 80s and 90s who have deep roots in their communities but fewer connections as they get older. So we bring them together to share time and experience. Next. This is it. <laughs> I talk to people who grew up in the same community I grew up in, and I try to help them realize the potential that they have to be and do whatever it is they set their mind out to do. And just kind of like remind them that, that there's a reason to have hope for the future. Amazing. We're done. We're done. Yeah. Well done. Right. Good job. Right. I love yeah. what you said. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Thank you. There's something that inspires all of us, and it's about finding those connection points and those common things that we all uh, care about. My place is Chicago, and my purpose is to support and stop climate change. My place is Nigeria, Chicago, Southside, Detroit, Michigan. My purpose is to elevate, celebrate, and empower African girls and women. Share people's stories. Be to another young person what the people who poured into my life work for me. My purpose is to change lives. 